Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna work on this gorgeous pendant. This is as usual is part of our project long necklace. So this is just another pendant and look how gorgeous it is. I actually had a different idea in my head, you know, I was planning to put something in the middle, but once I finished this part, I was like, there's no way I'm gonna add anything and spoil it because it's just so gorgeous. I'm really loving it. So. I decided to call it summer haze to match our previous uh, earrings we did last week, I think. So for this one, you will need a round circle connector. I'm using same 35 mm I used in the earrings, but you can use any circle here because this design doesn't, doesn't really matter what size you use, but this is just the only one I have. So this is the one I'm going to use. You can use any size. It's just, you know, if you have smaller, your pendant will be smaller. If you have bigger, your pendant will be bigger. And the number of beads is going to be different as well. Then you'll need some delicates to go around. I'm going to be using this pink. I won't be able to leave your coats for delicates because they came in a bundle I bought. If you've seen my unboxing of that 5 kg of beads I think I bought on eBay. So this is the one I'm going to use up today. And you'll need... Uh, 50 nose, I'm using Toho's gold. Then you'll need some stone chips. I'm gonna be using this amethyst. Now, if you notice, my stone chips are not too big and not too small. So I think that's the perfect size because you know, there are some chunky ones like this one, for example. Too well, these are not exactly stone chips, but well, you got the idea. I'm using like medium size of stone chips. And you'll need a, a stop bead to start off then you'll need your beading needle and beading thread now i'm using size 12 because my stone chips have really tiny holes in them i would have preferred to work with 10 but it's not going to fit in there that's the only reason i'm using small needle but you can use 10 if it goes through your stone chips and then you'll need nymo or whatever beading thread you're using i'm using nymo size d then you'll need scissors to cut the thread so that's all the materials you need get your uh, beads ready, thread your needle. Now for this um, project, you'll need three meters of thread. Um, so if you want, you can take three meters, but you're gonna struggle in the, uh, in the beginning with the long tail, or you can take half and half and, you know, in the middle add somewhere. Now it's exactly three meters, so I would still suggest a little more to give yourself wiggle room, depending as well. You know, if you have a smaller or bigger circle, it also depends on that. So I'm gonna go ahead, thread my needle, get my beads ready, and then we'll get straight to work. So I have my beads ready on the side, I thread my needle. I'm gonna take the stop bead. I'm gonna leave a short tail that I just can sew in later. You know, you don't really need a long thread. And then take my needle again through the stop bead to keep it in place. That's it. And now we're just gonna start our brick stitch. I'm gonna pick up one delica. I'm gonna drop it down to my stop bead. I'm gonna take my needle through the circle. And now here, see that the beads are still on the other side. And then I'm gonna take my needle back through the delica heading towards the stop bead. In the beginning, it's going to be wonky because you don't have the uh, tightness yet. So, but you can do it. The more you do, easier it gets. Again, pick up one delica, drop it down, take your needle through the circle and back through the delica, heading towards your other beads. And pull your needle. Pick up one delica, drop it down, take your needle through the circle, and then back through the delica. Remember, you always go through the side where your needle already is coming out of. See, my thread's going that way, so same way, I go backwards and pull my needle. Ouch. So you just continue like that all around. I'm gonna show you two more times. You pick up a delica, drop it down, 
Take your needle through the circle and then go through the delicate backwards. And pull your needle. See? Pick up a delica, drop it down, take your needle through the circle and then back through the delica. See, I'm always heading backwards. And pull your needle. And you just go on and on. And once you reach the other side, I'm gonna show you how to connect it to this delica and step up to the next row. So as you can see, I'm almost all the way around. Now what we're gonna do, I'm just gonna hold this tail backwards so it doesn't get on the way. I'm gonna pick up one delica, drop it down, Take my needle under the, well, through the circle and back up the same delica. And I think that's the last delica I can fit in. And now it's time to connect it to this one. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna go through this bead, back through the circle. See, my needle is behind the circle and through the circle and pull my needle and then back up the same delica. And that's it, that's, they're all connected now. Just have to pull both tails. And now we step up and add one more row of delica on top. So I'm just gonna hold the tail backwards, pick up two delicas, see all my threads coming out of, and you see there is a bridge of thread between each delica so this one here, this one here, they're all bridges. So what I'm gonna do, I'm, I'm gonna skip the first one, this one, and then I'm gonna go through the second bridge. Pull my needle and go through the second delica up. So the second row is easier because it's just basic brick stitch really. Pick up one delica, go through the next bridge, pull your needle, and then go up the same delica. See? Pick up one delica, go through the next bridge, go up the same delica. And you just continue like that all around. And then once you reach the other side, I'm gonna show you how to connect to this first delica. But before, I'm gonna show you two more times. Pick up a delica, go through the, well, under the bridge, pull your needle, go up the same delica. Pick up a delica, go under the bridge, pull your needle, go up the same delica and continue like that all around until you reach the other side. So here I am almost done with the second circle. So I think I have space only for one left now. So I'm just gonna pick up one delica, go through this last bridge, Pull my needle and back up the same delica. And now we just have to connect to this one. And what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna go down through this bead. And if you remember when we added the first two beads, we left one bridge down there. So I just have to find it with my needle, which is, see these two beads under the bead? The bridge is between them. So you can feel it with your needle when you, when you go through it. So I'm just gonna pull my needle back. Turn it over and go up the same bead. You just have to get this tail out of the way and go back up. I just added the new thread and it's so long. And here we are, second row done. Now what we have to do is add this loop and it's a ladder stage. So to do that, I'm gonna pick up one delica. I'm gonna go down the next bead, this one here and pull my needle. I'm 
I'm gonna go up the next one pick up one delica and go back down this one and then I'm gonna go up here pick up one delica and go down the next one that's how it is and now I just have to go back here just gonna hold it like this I'm gonna go down these two beads my needle pick up three delicates and then go back through all these three beads and pull my needle and that's how it looks like and now I have to reinforce this go up this two, three pull my needle Go back down this three. And then back up. Pick up three delicates. Up this three beads. So we're just doing simple ladder stitch now for the loop. And now once we added this unit, reinforce down this three beads up this three beads and now to add the next one I'm gonna go down this three beads pick up three delicates and go back down this three beads And then once you add the unit, always reinforce. Up this three. Down this three. So you just continue like that, adding the unit until you get the required length. And the required length is the width of your necklace. So for this one, I'm gonna use this white pro necklace so if I just put it here I have to continue making this strip all the way until it goes around this one and comes back the other side and then I'm gonna show you how to connect it so go ahead get your length down I don't know how thick your necklace is so depending on that it will depend how many units you're gonna add so once you have the full length I'm gonna meet you back here so I've added all the units and if I put it here bring it around it touches the other side so that's what I need and now I'm just gonna go ahead and connect it so my needles coming up up I'm gonna go downwards on this first unit here pull my needle and then go back up this three units here And then here I can pull it in place now and that's basically you have your circle I just have to reinforce this last bit go back down here I'm gonna go up here one more time and back down this one and it's done the loop is ready now we just have to embellish it with the stone chips to do that see where I am I'm gonna come down the next delica here on the side 
and then go up the next one. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pick up two 15 O's and then one stone chip. Drop it down. Pick up one 15 O and go down all those beads and the one delica. And pull the thread. That's it. We do this for every single delica on the go. So go up the next one. I'm gonna pick up two 15 O's, one stone chip, Drop it down. Pick up one fifteen now and go down all those beads and the one delica and pull your needle. Go up the next one. Now, because the stone chips are much bigger than your delicas, they will keep on getting on the way. But that's why we are adding 15 nodes at the bottom. So you can, you know, just push them back or up front so they don't get on your way. You just, let's see, pick up two 15 nodes, one stone chip. Drop it down. See, it kind of gets you on gets on your way the previous stone chips but you just go ahead and push it out of your way so you get yourself some space pick up 150 now and go back down all those beads and the delica and pull your needle so you just do it all around just like this all around at two 15 hours, one stone chip on top of every single delica until the last one on this side. And when you come on this side, I'm gonna meet you back here and I'm gonna show you how to get rid of the tail. But before we do that, I'm gonna show you one more time what you do. You just go up the next delica. Here you pick up two 15 hours and then one stone chip. Drop it down. See, push those out of the way. You don't even have to push, but I'm just saying, you know, they seem like they are on your way, but you can always push them aside. And then pick up 150 now, and then go back down all those beads down the same delica. And pull your needle. Then go up the next one. And repeat the same thing all over again and once you add more and more see the stone chips they're gonna push each other aside and then you kind of end up with two rows that's what happened on this one see so you just keep on going all around until you reach the other side and I'm gonna meet you back here and look how gorgeous it is isn't it just beautiful the sun is already setting, it's the end of the day, so I just wanted to quickly finish it. Now all we do is just get rid of the tail. And it might be tricky because, you know, you have all this stone chips on top of all those uh, brick stitch rolls, but all we do basically, see all my threads coming out of? I'm gonna go up the next beat without going through the top beads the ones that are on top, like 50 nose and the stone chips, just this one. Then I'm gonna go down the next bead. Then I'm gonna go back up this bead. So I'm just creating a pass back and forth. So my threads are not gonna come apart and go back down this bead. 
So I made my pass back and forth. So basically all I have to do is just, I'm gonna take my needle a bit further. Now we don't want the 50 now. We just want the Delica. Okay. I'm gonna go down the next one. And go up the next one and then we can get rid of the tail. And then here I can go ahead and cut it at the very base. So go ahead, do the same thing with this initial tail we had in the very beginning. Just go up and down a couple times, make a pass back and forth and then get rid of it. And then we're gonna compare our gorgeous pendants. That's it. I'm just loving it. This is so gorgeous. It's very simple break staging. All you do is just embellish it with some stone chips, which usually everybody who beats has them somewhere in the drawers. So you should be able to make this pretty pendant. And in the next tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to bezel a tile. That's right. This is a tile that you would usually have on your wall somewhere in the kitchen or in the bathroom. And then once we bezel it in the tutorial after, I'm gonna show you how to make this gorgeous pendant. So you see, a lot of different things coming up, but if you are new to my channel, make sure to subscribe, check out my other tutorials. I have more than 100 videos out, so I'm sure you can find something you like for yourself. So I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye-bye.